Hey everybody, it's Paul Gorman out here in Northern California. Having a great day. It's early morning, 7 a.m. And I just wanted to show you some different styles of chipping. You know, when you watch a guy like Jordan Speed, who has so many ways to chip that ball, spin the ball, you gotta know there's gotta be a one of those for you. You know, all you want is one way. Well, I'm gonna show you something like a, a Lee Trevino style chip, um, which is pretty cool. He uses his whole body, right? hits these high soft ones. He'll go out here like this and turn. So it's kind of a whole global movement. He kind of winds his body up, floats it around here, and then drops it under. That's Lee right there. Boom. Boom. One more time for you. Whole body, shoulder hit. Oops. Yeah. Now, that's kind of cool because everything just feels like it's in front of you, it's connected, it's kind of a, a little bit of a loop, like a shoelace loop like this. Someone else might go in here and just do the arm. Nobody, like a couple. He goes out here and he just drops the club with his arms like that. But Freddie's got a little loop as well, but he, do, he just does it with his arms like this. Okay, so that'd be something you might want to try also. It's always out away, loop under. It flips. Hit. And that's where you get this little bitty lob. Now, if you're going to hit this ball low, it's just the opposite. You start with exactly the same amount of loft, but when you hold this handle in front, it will de loft the club. See? Someone else might get in here, just kind of get away from the ball, lower the handle, right? And then make a little swing across the ground this way where the shaft angle never leaves the belt loop angle. Okay, it'll look like this. Right? I'll tie one there. Another option is to let this club, like it's a swivel of a fishing lure, and it would just circle around your body this way, therefore just sliding right under the ball. And all you have to do is turn, sweep around both directions, right? Boom. Here's another nice high soft one, another technique, right? Now I watched uh, Jim Dent. He had a <laughs> quite a unique way to hit a short shot. Uh, he played on the Champions Tour up in the finals up there in Sonoma in Northern Cal, Napa area, Napa, Sonoma. And I remember him, man, he had like, he just took those hands and just chopped, just took fat divots. Let's see if I can do one. Like that. And that puts some spin on the ball, man. You've got to be frisky with it and, you know, practice it a bit. But that's, uh, you know, how you get friction on the ball, right? You can kind of chop. Now you see Jordan do that too, right? Get that kind of chop spinner. Friction on the ball. Chop spinner. Oh. You see that ball trying to bite the range ball and still got juice on it. Okay, how about a little idea where you just kind of scoop like water up. So it's you're gonna uncock your hands here, right? And that's gonna be like judo chop from outside this way. So uncocking, that's gonna impart a little friction on the ball. Side soft spin, jump to the right. That's the one I like to play a lot, don't you agree? Just like that. So that's another way to kind of do something to, to explore a little bit. And that's an uncocking. So the left wrist is going like this and cupping as it gets uh, through the shot. The right wrist is just going like that. So it's a side axe chop with a little soft left elbow. Letting the club slide under the ball with a little friction. There you go. Exactly. So that's a Shankovich right there. We'll edit that one out of there. So let's say you wanted to run the ball a little bit. Well, in that case, I'm going to run the ball kind of low without much spin, and I'm going to still send this club around a little bit with more of a square face like that. So that's just a hand 
start the shaking hand position, move the body this way, bang it around that way. It's like 180 degrees, right? It's like drew a line across here and I got 360 circle. I'm going to 90 degrees over here and then 180 this way. You know what I mean? I'll do it over this way so you can see. It's really cool to explore the short game stuff. So 180 there. I only need to go 90 here and then 180 there. 180, I give it a little pivot, lower body's really is supporting with the liquid of the stroke, if you will. So again, man, you can go all over the place, you old Lee, baby. Go. I'm going to hit him a little further now, get out there for that 25 pounds. ball start to the right of the direction of the club head swinging. So my club head is swinging left, and it's camera view for you all. You're going to see this ball just go straight, which is to the right of the club head action. Just like that. I see a lot of my amateur guys out here <laughs> trying to make the ball go straight, and what happens is they send the club head straight and the, and the face left. Right? You see that kind of jumpy look. And the deflection be sometimes like this. Whoa. You know, you stop the handle, you stop the handle and you come down this way and you stop the handle and you throw the club head. Now the club head's pointing over there. Whereas if when you lead the handle, the club is closing gradually as it's coming to you. That way. Stop it. Throw it. No bueno. Okay? That's enough for today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Give it a shot. All right, so we're going to hit him a little longer here, right? A little bit longer shot. Still going to go Trevino for you, right? Longer shot, past that 25 zone. Good. All right, still going straight, going uh, to the right of my club path, correct? Out here like this. Trevino. And if you go more Tiger-esque, it's just going to be straight up normal. On plane, on plane. Vanilla. On plane, on plane. So we got that going for us. Let's see what else I got. I got, uh, oh, I'll go Freddy. Freddy's always open stance. Just like Trevino. Arm. Now you're going to find the syrup that makes your pancakes work here. Personally, for me, I'm good at Trevino, man. I just kind of lift my arms up. That starts to shift around the corner like that. And I can just get really great rhythm. Right? Let's see how far I can hit this just loosen it around. You got to pick something. Give it a go. Um, try the different styles. And then uh, start working on it. You know, get to the range and hit a lot of balls, doing the same thing over and over. And the biggest thing is doing sameness. Uh, us researchers out here, I'm passionately obsessed as well, and I'm always took, looking at different styles and stuff and checking them out. But you have to do it over and over for a few days just to see if it pattern, if the pattern works for you. You don't just do it for like 15 minutes and go, oh, that was pretty good, and move on. So that's what the tour pros do. They are sameness, man. You gotta take it around, keep doing the same thing, right? All right, let me know how it goes, guys.